I've just arrived at the Adina Vibe Apartments here in downtown Darwin. and this is going to be my base for the next three days. Looking forward to a hearty feed, a good night's sleep, because tomorrow I'm taking Christian Jet fishing and I have a very special surprise in store for my little boy. Hey, mate. Keep your eyes closed. Are they still closed? Yes. Good boy. You keep them closed because Mum and Dad have a very, very big surprise for you, okay? Now I'm going to count to three and then you can open your eyes. One, two, three. Helicopter! <laughs> How cool is that? Cool. Guess what? What? We're going to go barramundi fishing in a helicopter. What do you reckon? Awesome. Let's do it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Come on. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> cool, a crocodile. Well, when a little boy sees a crocodile, he's always a happy camper. This is Mark Roll from Hallyfish. Mark, we fished many years ago. You've seen a lot of barramundi since then, I'm tipping. We've done pretty well with the barramundi, Paul. Today I've brought you down to this little spot. It's our full day tour. Yep. We're just south of the mouth of the Daly River. Little creek on Anson Bay. And a bit of luck, this will fire up as the tide runs out. I reckon I just saw a barramundi. <laughs>
And I've arrived with about 15 minutes to spare before the tide starts doing what we want it to do. When that tide starts rolling in the correct direction, the barra should move through, we'll see the buffs and we'll catch a few fish. So really important with any fishing, make sure you get there on time because you'd hate to miss that really good bite by just a few seconds. Just a look, mate. You're doing a great job. I just want to see how this lure's going to swim. Give me the weeds. If we get it down a bit. Fish oh. on. Mark's on. Barra, mate? No, a little salmon, I think. Oh, nice fish, though. A little thread fin. That is so cute. You get a lot of them mixed in, there. We do get them coming through, and they grow pretty big at times. Terrific yeah. sablefish, Paul. They re really eat well. Can I have those grips? Thanks, Teddy. Just slide him up. We'll stay away from the water. Look at that. Well done. Look at that for a beautiful fish, Jet. That is a thread fin salmon. Look at that great big gozuri in his gob. I think it's pretty fair to say they're pigs, aren't they, mate? Yeah. You ate that big lure. And these fish grow to about 15, 16 kilos, and when they're that size, they're nearly impossible to stop. Well, this little estuary, the tide, as I said, is about to turn. Things are about to start happening, and this is a very good start to what's going to be an incredible day. Money, mate. Okay, I have not seen a thread fin salmon and I have not seen a bat. You see him come out of the water? He's yeah, I, I just fella. saw him jump off. Did you see him jump? Yeah, here we Oh, it's a good one. Yeah. He'll be a legal fish, he's around the 60, 65. He's going hard. Mate, that was incredible. I was releasing your fish over there, first cast. I saw that. Another barra. And you were supposed to be here to fish, not me. Ah, it's all good, mate, it's all good. That's it, he's coming over closer. Just step back behind me here, Jenny. Yeah, just I'm come bring back that a bit, fish mate. in. I, I saw think that. I've got him a little bit in the side of the head. Oh. That's a good barra. It is a good barra, Dad. I'll just Do you reckon that's a keeper? I think it might be a keeper, mate. Just let me slow you. Well, what will we do Hold it, if Hold it's that. a keeper? Look at that, Jenny. Mark, what? come over here. That is a beautiful fish, eh? I reckon he might have gone for that lure and she's flung around behind. but. What are you thinking so far of that big yozuri there? Doing the job? Yeah, it's, it's doing the job well, isn't it? After that salmon nailed it and then a barra straight up again, I think uh, it might be the lure for the day. I think it might be. I might go back in my box and see if I've got another one. Now that's a legal barra mundi. Yeah, he would be. Uh, he's probably about 50, 58 centimetres, probably yep. three centimetre over. But being early in the day, it's going back? Yeah, black tail hasn't uh, really started maturing uh, when they get bigger and clean in the salt water. A lot yellow. So he's probably been up around the floodplain, some of the fresh water. Yep. And he's just moving back into the salt water to do the spawning as they do with the uh, big females. Good work, we'll put this fish back. Very, very cool this fish is. We go nuts when you're letting go. Yeah, there he goes, you watch, there he goes. <laughs> See you, Barra. Big Barra Mundy. Oh, oh, you might have to help me, you might have to help me, Jet. It's a big barra. It jumped it two times. That's a big barra, Jed. Have you ever yeah, seen a barra yeah. that big? No. Well, just... I have on TV the biggest one you've caught. Have you? Look at this fish. It's going to jump. It's going to jump right there. Oh. Jed, that's a big fish. Right there next what, to what was that on? It was on that big gold lure that I went and put on. Cut, I saw. Cut. I'll grab the line for you. Thanks, mate. Don't grab the line just yet. There he is. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's a nice fish. Watch out, Jed. Watch out. Don't touch the line. Come this way, Jetty. Come this way. Now, you know what Dad did? What? Mark caught two fish, a barramundi and a threadfin salmon. So you did what he did? I got the same lure out of my box that he had on, the big gold Yozuri crystal minnow. And yeah. as soon as I did that, this fish... Just come and bombed it. That I'll is... try and beat him. Yes! <laughs> oh, that is a massive barramundi. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Jet, come and stand here if you can grab that for me, Mark. Come over here, Jetty. Come around behind Dad. Come around behind Dad. That is an incredible 
Barra Mundy, look at that big gold Lewis C. Jenny, I put it on, didn't I? That Barra's a monster. Do you reckon you would have been able to hold him? No. <laughs> He's too big, isn't he? Mate, we're going to have to measure this fish. I reckon he could be nudging a metre. Did you see those jumps and what I actually did to land him? I'm sorry about the sand on the lens. I got him close enough to the ledge there and I literally pulled him over as he jumped. He landed straight on the beach. That is what Barra Mundy fishing in the Northern Territory is all about. If you're ever thinking about going uh, heli fishing, oof. And that would hurt. That would hurt. If you're ever thinking about going heli fishing, do it, because these are the results. They even fight you when they're on the land. Jenny, how good's barra fishing? Good. <laughs> so that is a super fish. Mark, let's just run the tape over this thing and see if it is past that magic metre mark. I reckon you might be punching close, Paul. It's got the old swivels there on the nose. On the nose, back to the tail. 102. One metre and two centimetres of Australian barramundi jet. Yeah. Catching a metre barramundi rod. Yeah. That is what everybody who comes to the Northern Territory wants to do and we've done it in 10 minutes. How good is that? Cool. That is just amazing. I'm just going to show you this big chrome fish one more time. He's chrome because he's coming out of the salt water. He's got a big yellow tail jet because he's living in the salt. I'm going to swim this fish. We're going to clean the lens. Oh, we've cleaned the lens. We're doing well. I'm going to release this fish. I'm going to fly back to Darwin later and tell some big stories back at the Vibe. I'm going to spear this fish because I don't want to get too close to the water. Apparently it's the best thing for him and... There he goes. Look at that. Look at him cruising down the bank there. Big tail. Gone. Wow. Chris, that's a pretty special way to start the day, isn't it? I couldn't think of many other ways you'd want to do it. That was incredible, like 10 minutes and a metre barra. Hey, metre too, back off. What the? <laughs> so good, but the beauty of having a chopper, there's some other spots just around the corner. We're gonna go find them. What do you reckon, Jet, we'll find some more barras? Yeah! Good work, let's go, mate. Jenny, that's a big fish. Well, Mark, an incredible start today. I can't believe I've caught a metre barra already. Sitting in the shade, having a little snack. I believe we've got an even better destination possibly ahead of us. Yes, Paul. I've got a little spot that uh, relies on the wet season, and this is this one spot that has kept going, and hopefully today it's uh, going to produce some fish for us. Don't expect to get too many monsters, not like the one you got this morning. It'd be nice, but uh, we'll get occasionally some good fish there, but it's a great spot to go where you Pretty well guaranteed you're going to catch quite a few nice little barra. Oh, that'll be perfect for my boy. Now, helifish, four years old now? Yeah, we're into our fourth year and still kicking on strong, slowly growing and finding more fishing spots. Uh, always uh, looking for new places to go and, yeah, it's going well. Now, one thing I was very impressed with, when you mentioned we should come up again because the fishing's been OK, you said, Paul, please bring the family. I want to fish with Christy and Jet. And you get a lot of families actually come and do this as a family day. Tell Absolutely. Well, it started off where a lot of dads wanted to bring their sons along to bonding experiences and just to see the Northern Territory. A lot of people from down south just don't realise what we've got here and what we can do in a day and then be back home in the comfort of your motel with no camping or anything else. So from there, they'd go home and show the photographs around and the wives would realise, well, that looks pretty good, all that bird life. And, and is it true that sometimes mum outfishes dad and dad isn't too happy? I hate to say it happens more often than not. <laughs> I love it. Mum buys Dad a trip for a holiday. Yeah, Mum she gets the biggest fish. Comes along, gets the big... That's what it's all about, girls. Make sure you come and find the biggest fish. There is nothing like catching barramundi in the Northern Territory. Just seeing this place, it is 11 out of 10. If you live in any other state, even if you live in the Northern Territory, you've got to find this man and come and see what Australia has to offer. Big barramundi. I reckon we need to go nail a few more. Let's go down this spot and see if we can. Oh, sneaky spot X.
20 k's down the coast, Al. To another magnificent spot. I think I saw about 40 on the way here that I just went, look at that, look at that. But this is so cool. It is unbelievable. We saw Barra Free swimming on the beach. Got out, had a couple of casts. We had to get to this spot because this spot goes off. Apparently there's a croc there watching. Jetty, oh, he just, he just caught a, a fish. The croc oh just caught God. a barra. That is unbelievable. No, Welcome might... to iFish. I think he might have missed. Well, he missed the barra jet. You see if you can get one. Big cast. Good boy. Okay. Now just wind... drift through. Yeah, just wind it up. We might have to cast a bit bigger. But it is drifting. I'm just going to help. You ready, mate? That's what we wanted. Now you just wind. See how you go. Now don't let him pull you in. I'll hold the back of your shirt. Okay, talk us through it, Jetty. Tell us if you get a bite. Yeah. Oh yes! Lift, lift, lift! Oh no, he got off, he got off. <laughs> okay, just slow wind. You had another bite. Another, yep, 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 he's looking at it, he's looking at got it. Him, got him, wind, wind, wind. Wind as hard as you can, you I think got you got him. Quick. Wind, just keep winding, that's it, you got him. Just keep winding. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh he's a jumper! Keep winding, mate. <laughs> I'm holding the line. Good boy, yeah, line, wind. wind Gotta keep the line tight, just keep line, winding. Line, here, boy. put your hand up here, maybe. No, I don't. You're right, that's better. And keep winding. Keep winding. You're not going to get away, fella. Oh, look how dark he is. He's gorgeous. He's beautiful. Keep going, mate. OK. Bring him over here. Crocs, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Bring him over here, buddy. Hey, how beautiful. What's that, Crocs? Well done, keep winding, keep winding. Keep winding. Wind. <sighs> keep winding. Drag I'll drag him straight up here. Is this Barramundi? Hang on. Jenny. Oh. oh. Good you job. right, Dale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a lip grip there, Mark. <laughs> well done. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah, give me your rod, mate, and you can hold it. I'll cast it again. No, yeah. Hang on, get to put well, this one first. Level this one first. Yeah, look at Jenny, how cool is that? Awesome. What's that? My money. My first one that I've caught in my life. It was pretty cool, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And you got a couple and they got away. What happened? Mm, I don't know. Oh. I reckon that's the same one. You reckon it's the same one? Yeah, because I got it in the same place. Now, see, the one Daddy caught early this morning, remember it was really silver? Yeah. Well, this one, see how it's a different colour? Yeah. Do you know why? Why? Because it's in fresh water. Good boy. That is exactly why. Because they're in fresh water, they get a darker colour. And you can see they go dark like the water. But that one this morning, he was silver with a yellow tail. This one is brown with a golden tail. Yeah. Well, a golden brown tail. Do you want Dad to put him back? Yes, please. And then what are you going to do? Catch another one. Good work. <laughs> I'm going to spear this one back because there's a croc over there. I don't want to get in the water with him. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Well done, mate. <laughs> I saw him eat it. Did you? Oh, keep whining, keep whining, keep whining. I reckon I can get this one up. Okay, go, go, go. Okay. Watch your run. Yay! Yeah. You saw him eat it, mate. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? You he's actually saw him eat the lure. And look at that. Look how... He's blinded. Yeah, you know why he looks blinded? Why? Because they've got a very special eye. Look at his eye, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It goes red and that's because they can see very well under the water. That's only a baby, mate. We'll put him back. Yeah. Oops. Good job. Oh, there you go, buddy. That just shows, even when the lure's only a metre out from the bank, you can still get hit. That was so close, wasn't it? And you actually saw him eat it, mate. Do you want to cast again? Let mum and dad move because yeah. we don't want to hook in the, in the arm. Yeah, you definitely... Oh, you're going this way now. OK, thanks for changing it up. He's ambidextrous. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's a big one, Jet. That's a big one. Jetty, that is a big barra, mate. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, really? Yeah, it's a good one, I'm telling you. Look at the size oh, of him. Yeah. Good job, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jet, this is the biggest barra you've ever hooked in your life, buddy. Just awesome. hold on. Hold on. That is awesome, Jet, Jetty. That is wicked. Just keep fighting, mate. That's an air barra. Did you see that jump? <laughs> yes. Now, this is going to be tough because he's a big fish. He's got a bit to go still. I'm helping you keep the pressure on. He's a good barra this one. Yeah. You've got to wind. You've got to keep winding. Keep the pressure on, mate. Good boy. Yeah. Oh, he just spat up a mullet. He just spat up a mullet he ate. Oh, See that? Oh, the mullet. And he's he's swimming away. It's That's a baby barra. It's a baby barra. It's a baby barra. barra. It is. He just spat up a baby barra and it's still swimming. Look, it's in the tide there. You can see it on the surface. Oh, my God. That is amazing, Jet. I'm going to try and slide this fish up. And get the baby barra. That baby barra is just there. Here, yeah, walk back, Jet. Walk back. Uh, I it's might a, actually, actually... This is a good fish. Walk. I'm going to struggle it. I think up here, maybe, Paul. Oh, Jet! Yeah. Yeah. How big is that? Oh. Jenny, and it's 
shot up a baby barra. It did. Is the baby barra still there? That was incredible. Uh, it did. It just floated off, but it actually still had a kick in it, so we must have only just eaten it. It was swimming. Jet, come and stand next to this barramundi, my friend. <laughs> Well done. What do you think about that, buddy? <laughs> it's awesome. And I read, I did not know I could catch one that Oh, I didn't know you could either. <laughs> that is huge. Tell everyone at home how hard did he fight? He actually fought like a whale. Like a whale? <laughs> what sort of whale? Um, a pilot whale. A pilot whale, there you go. And that is incredible. We've just seen nature at its best. This barra has literally eaten Jet's little squidgy mongrel a foot from the bank. It's gone nuts. It's spat up a live baby barramundi and Shane Compain, my mate at Tackle World here in Darwin, is actually trying to make a barramundi lure that looks like a small barramundi. And how's that, Jetty? This barramundi ate another barramundi. <laughs> yeah. That's nature at its finest, isn't it? How incredible. Well, what And he was still alive. I know. What do you think of barramundi fishing? Cool. What do you think of going in helicopters? Cool. You're a lucky boy, aren't you? Yep. He sure is. Well, I'll put this fish back. He's a lucky boy and I'm a very, very proud dad. That is amazing. Yep, go, just get into him, get into him. Oh, no, 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 no. That's it, you only got 20 pound line. Oh, I think he's snapped. No, he's still in no, it. Just, still there. He's just still keep there. your rod chip up. There. That's he's a big there. fish, Christy. He's still there. Oh, my God, a fish. fish. Okay, wind it in, Jet. We'll just get this out of the way because Mum's got a monster on. Oh, he's coming up, he's coming up. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, my God. Christy, Jenny, this is a big barrel. Oh, 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 my God, oh, my God. Don't tie it too tight. Just keep that rod chip up. You don't want him around that corner. Watch me to go swim for That's it, no, you're doing great. You're doing great. Just hold him there, just hold him there. Take your time, deep breaths. Just hold him there. We're going to slowly work him up. This is a big, big fish, big, Christy. Big barra. Keep the rod tip up. That's good. That's really good. Just don't want to get it. If he gets around that corner, it's all oh, over. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Keep the pressure on. Keep the wow. pressure on. Oh, my God. This is, Keep this the, is awesome. Has he got you on a snag there or no, not? No, no. He's, he's coming, just a big he's fish. That's it. Back across. He's just got so much power. Oh, this is a big fish. I wonder if Come we need on, to cross buddy. the river. Come on, buddy. Do we need to cross? Come on, no, no, buddy. Wait, be right. Come on, here he comes. Just, Christy, just, just, just take, you're doing a great time. job. Just don't bust him off. You're doing yeah, a great job. When, you, when we get in close, we'll back that drag okay. off. This is just 20 yeah. pound fins. How is that run that he just did? He'll Push. start to tie soon. There's not too many snags on the side. Dad, yeah. when you hear the puff of crack, so it could be the crocodile. It could be. That's a big fish. Look at him. Oh. oh my he actually God. doesn't look as big as what. Oh my He's gosh. fighting Christy. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's a nice it's fish. Oh, look at that, darling. Wow. Jenny, stay away from the edge. Stay away from the edge. That's a big barra, Christy. Oh. It's like mine. It's like mine. It's, yeah, even, it's like yours, but bigger. Um, mate, Christy, drag it around here. Christy, bring it around. I'm stuck on it. On the mud. Hang on. That's it. Just slide him around. Jenny, stay oh, back. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. That's a big look fish. Look at her, I should say. Where am I going? Uh, we bring it around the side here. And There's just stay away from the edge. Just stay away from the edge. There's a big tree there. Am I safe to get down on this ledge, Mark? Uh, yeah. I can't see it from there, but go hard, mate. Yeah, I can't see it. Stay back, Jet. Just bring I'd his head around. I'd come down here, Paul. I'd, I'd bring it straight up this slot in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bring him around. You Good just call. Lift him on the leader. He should come out all right. Or put your arm down. I'll just yep. get yeah, on this isn't that a beautiful? Look at the gold. It's like it's like catching a bar of That's gold. It. That's it. Just lift okay. his head over the water there. Mr. Get a grip over. Oh, Jenny! <laughs> How awesome! Oh, Christy Worsling, right. you are a legend. <sighs> How's that for a large How freshwater is that? barra? Monday? A freshwater barra. That is my biggest freshwater barra, I reckon. Absolutely. Uh, that is, oh, and what a fight. I mean, even if it was half the size, the fight was incredible. Jet, what do you reckon about that, buddy? Good. That's incredible, isn't it? The I way. Tell you what, go the sustain, 4,000. I didn't know. I, I don't reckon I would have stopped that with many other things. That well, was incredible. That just happens to be the Paul Worsting Shimano Nano Barra Rod. What do you think about that, Christy? <laughs> I think I quite like the shimano. It just goes to show this is the reason we love barramundi fishing because one cast you get a 20 centimetre fish, the next cast you can potentially get a metre 20 fish. It's just incredible and the power of this fish, unbelievable. And you know what? I reckon I saw an even bigger fish when this one took Christy's lure. So Christy, congratulations. Thank you. We'll let this one go, Jetty. Yeah. And then I think we might have another cast. This is just Please, unreal. Christian Jetty is having a little break in the chopper. He's only six years old and it's damn hot, so I just want him to keep the fluids up and just relax. He's so pumped though, it's hard to keep him in that chopper. And I've just walked down the stream here a bit. I've put a weedless soft plastic on. I'm just gonna chuck into the snags and just do a real slow wind. 
The beauty about weedless soft plastics is you can put them in everywhere the barrel are really going to be hiding and you know you're not going to get snagged up unless you're really unlucky. So I can belt it right into the timber there, just slow wind, I'll actually give it a bit of slack so it gets right down the timber and it's just a matter of what they call a roll. So you'll see I'm just winding it along. Because that big white tail just goes from side to side, you don't have to work it quick to still have a good reaction the barra come in and they smash it. It's a really good art if you can learn how to rig a plastic properly so you can fish this in this weedless fashion. That's a good one, is it? Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, he nearly pulled me over. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's throwing the snags. Oh. All I can do is pull and hope. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh. Which side of that snag am I on? This side. Oh, come on. Get out of there, you dirty dog. He's gone under the snag and around. He's under. That's it. That's it. I got him out. Oh, holy snapping. That's a big barramundi! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, that is massive, Mark. I need help. I'm on my way, mate. I need help. Look at the size of this. He caught Rupert. Oh, this day just continues to get better and better. Um, how about I hold you by the ankles? Oh, mate, I tell you what, if you hold me, I might. Stay out of there. You'll have to play him a bit, mate. Yeah. There might be a better spot further up. Up that way? Yeah, how's it looking up that way? Not good. It's a big fish. That's a big barra. Look at the size of that thing. Just, up here? Get your grips and I'll get him for you. Up here? Yeah, here we go. There on that ledge. That's where we brought the last one up. Oh, what do we do? Yeah, uh, come back here, Paul. Yep. <coughs> mate, I'm happy to lay down. Grips. No, yep. I'll get you, you all that. Oh, this is a big fish. It's just going to be hard to land him. Get his head up. Mate, I can hold you. I've got you. Yeah, 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 I'll mate. get your shirt, right, okay? Come on, give us his leader. He's just pinned right in the jaw there. This is incredible, Mark. You're going to get very muddy here, I apologise. This is a big, big barrow of money. I did not expect to catch this fish here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, baby! I'll swap you. Holy snapping barrow of Look at that! Let me just say, OMG. I don't even need to put the measuring stick on this. That's a metre in it, Mark. Look where he came out of. And look at that cesspool he came out of. Look at that. That's where this monster barrow came from. He's over a metre, isn't he? He's well over a metre, yeah. You go metre four, metre five. Well, we're going to quickly run the tape over him, then we're going to let him go. But this, as I said before, is paradise coming to you live from Hallyfish. Okay, the key here is to belly flop this fish. If we can do that, it'll really get him going. I'm told it's the way to do it, so I'm gonna do it. He's a big fish, just say goodbye to a monster, Barramundi, you beauty. Off you go, dude. And the Russian judge says, it's a Nadia Comedic, 10 out of 10. What's the saying in the classics? All good things must come to an end. Christy, I've been pumping this up for years. Was it as good as I said? No. It was better. It was incredible. It was just the most amazing day and the memories we made today will keep forever and I just can't wait to get back in Hallyfish. I'm hooked. <laughs> Tell me about it. Now you nearly got smoked by a barra. I did and that was all part of the fun. It was just to see that fish just reel the line off. It was incredible. Um, amazing. And Jetty, how was yes. today? Good. Cool. What was your favourite part? Um, we flew in the helicopter. Yeah, it's pretty hard to beat, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Those helicopters, mate, they're like magic carpets. So whether you catch a fish or not, come out with helifish, just Google helifish, you can't go wrong. Mark Roll, he is the man. You'll see smiles on the whole family's dials. <laughs> and I've got two bar over metre. I've got a beautiful wife and a beautiful boy. Life couldn't be better. Well, that was an incredible day on all fronts. But for now, we are homeward bound. Catch you next time on iFish.